Have you ever wondered what millionaires and billionaires do when they go online? Do they have specific hidden websites that only the super rich can flock to? It's something that most of us will never have the chance to experience for ourselves. But not to worry, just follow along and take a look at some of the exclusive places online only for ultra rich people. James Edition It's been called Craigslist for Billionaires. A shopping website inspired by the lifestyle of James Bond has to be amazing, right? Well, that's exactly what James Edition is. On it, you can purchase everything from expensive cars and jewelry to real estate and private jets. The website, as told by its own About page, is billed as the largest collection of luxury goods worldwide. From their launch in 2008, they now boast over 25,000 daily users from all over the globe who can browse 100,000 curated listings. Some of the items listed are so rare that the website has often caught the attention of mainstream media outlets, such as the time that a street legal Batmobile went on sale for $1 million. Their most expensive item currently on sale includes a luxury property in Mauna Loa, on sale for $260 million, and a 2007 Bugatti Chiron, which would set you back a mere $4 million. Rich Kids Being rich is boring when no one can see you is the tagline for this exclusive social network, and the website has certainly capitalized on that idea. Rich Kids is essentially the millionaire's version of Instagram, but if you want to post photos and comments, it'll cost you. They charge a subscription fee of a thousand euros per month for these premium features. According to the site's creators, the price is set so high to ensure the exclusivity of the club and to flush out any fakes. For the rest of us, there's the opportunity to ogle at the vast wealth of others. You can join for free if you log in through your Facebook account, but posting content is strictly off limits. The Rich Kids team specifically mentions that their site is intended to help rich people showcase their life and to build a true fan base with any onlookers who like what they are seeing. Listed among their ranks are fashion designer Roberto Cavelli's son Robert and Turkish real estate magnate Amir Bahadir. Luxie. When it comes to relationships, the ultra-rich don't have to troll through Tinder like the rest of us. Or that's what we're led to believe, according to Luxie, a dating website specifically for millionaires. Or as the site itself calls them, quality singles. Luxie claims that 41% of their users have an annual income of over 1 million, and they have strict guidelines to boot. Millionaires can browse through the profiles of fellow elite singles risk-free, since the website boasts an anti-scam system and a complete ban on sugar daddy and mommy relationships. Their aim is to connect daters who share the same interest and to help their users find true love among like-minded people. But it hasn't been without its share of scandals. In 2014, the site displayed the tagline, Tinder minus the poor people, which both competitors and potential users agreed was in poor taste. Despite this, new users are said to continually sign up and wait to pass through the 24-hour vetting process. This means that while membership is free, there's no guarantee that you'll be accepted. The team at Luxie remain coy about their annual profits of their website, but marketing manager Raphael Kraus claims that their business model has worked from the beginning and now contains over 2 million members. While that may be true, it begs the question, why they use stock images advertising the people using their app? Something tells me their pool of users isn't as large as they like to make it out to be. Quintessentially Quintessentially sounds like a dream, and in fact, their aim really is to enhance the day-to-day -day lives and fulfill the biggest dreams of their members. The website is a luxury concierge service which assists their ultra-rich clients with a seemingly endless array of tasks. They even count Tatiana von Bismarck from Tiffany & Co. among their satisfied customers. Quintessentially offers services including advice and consultancy on which pieces of fine art to buy, finding their clients the best private tuition, and luxury tailor-made travel, to name just a few. They can even hire Madonna to sing at your birthday party. Of course, this is where the bubble bursts for most people. You need to apply for membership. This costs between $5,000 to $60,000 depending on which level of service you choose, with the higher tiers available by invite only. Sounds like it's back to booking our own holidays then. Book my charters. As it turns out, not every super rich person owns their own private jet. But that's okay, because there's a couple of specialty websites that they can use to hire them instead. Firstly, there's Book My Charters, which is a bit like Uber for private aircraft, claiming to make booking a private jet as easy as hailing a cab. 
Their private jet hire is currently limited to around 150 airports in India only, but there are other options for the millionaire jet setter. You can also book super yachts and helicopters, namely Blade, which has been described as Uber for private jets and helicopters. The service first gained popularity by offering helicopter rides from Manhattan to the Hamptons, but has since expanded its offering. There are now frequent opportunities to fly with them from Manhattan to Miami or Palm Beach for only $2,200 each way. The Billionaire Shop Just like James Edition, The Billionaire Shop is the go-to place for expensive playthings. The site includes cars, jets, and helicopters, motorcycles, residences, and more. One recent offer was a Macklin Whiskey from 1926, selling at $1.2 million and billed as the finest malt that money can buy. According to the website, the billionaire shop's goal is to allow the ultra-rich to still be able to spend their cash on the finer things in life, despite their busy schedules. Their intention is for their customers to focus on enjoying luxury goods rather than having to seek these items out for themselves. And according to one spokesperson for the company, the website is not totally aimed at the super rich either. It's also for those who aspire to be billionaires and serves as an inspiration for those who dream big. Well, that's great, but I wonder how many bottles of that whiskey my inspiration can buy me. Best of all worlds. Browsing Facebook, we've all wondered why we're still friends with people from high school who we never interact with. Well, a super exclusive social network for like-minded people does exist and was created in 2012 by Eric and Luis Wachtmeister. Unfortunately, their target market are highly successful entrepreneurs and influencers. The premise of the site is to focus on users' futures rather than filling up a profile with photos of their past. The creators describe the site as more of a social navigator than a social network, designed to make sure that users aren't overwhelmed with irrelevant connections. Instead, they're able to post their current and planned future locations so that they can arrange to meet up with fellow users for social activities. The website has some interesting features too, such as the ability to switch between professional, social, and family modes. That's definitely something for Facebook to try. Raya Another app which gained inspiration from Tinder, Raya is marketed as a private social network for people in creative industries. Access is by invite only and is normally confined to models and TV stars. But while the app doesn't specifically state that you have to be super rich to join, it's pretty much a given. That's because the site is especially popular with social media influencers and you need to have some popularity among their ranks to gain admittance. A recent article by Nylon commented that the majority of Reyes users are very beautiful with more than 5,000 Instagram followers. So just who is on Raya? Well, celebrities who have been said to have browsed the app in the past include Ruby Rose, Cara Delevingne, and Diplo, to name a few. Plus, the fact that it's so exclusive and difficult to get into is a big part of its appeal, too. Well played, Rhea. Get my boat. How useful would it be to just hire a boat for a day? Say, a super yacht? Yet again, if you happen to be ultra rich, such a service is indeed available to you. The website is called GetMyBoat.com and not only allows you to hire super yachts by the day, week, or month, but also allows fellow billionaires to rent out their own. The site offers boat rentals and water experiences worldwide from an interface akin to Airbnb, but for boats. They also claim to have listings of 130,000 boats in 184 different countries, which means that if your wallet is big enough, you have a whole boatload of options. Besides the boats, the experiences offered include snorkeling, water sports, and paddle sports, as well as exclusive diving trips in some of the best locations. Whether you want to rent a 44-foot catamaran in Cartagena or a mega yacht in Dubai, they've got it covered. It could cost upwards of $800 an hour. That's all. Luxury Estate Luxury Estate is touted as the go-to website for buying luxury properties all around the world. It's a searchable real estate database with a very specific clientele in mind. That's because most of the properties listed cost more than the average person is likely to earn in their lifetime. For those who can't afford to make a booking, the website boasts over 350,000 homes in over 120 countries. The site also includes the largest number of high-end real estate agents on any website, ready to assist potential clients. And if a luxury estate doesn't float your boat, then what about your own private island? Private Island Online is one such website that offers clients the chance to buy their own personal island in a number of locations around the globe. Take Horse Island in the Republic of Ireland, for example, which will only cost you a mere seven and a half million. Black Tomato 
If you're the kind of millionaire who loves unique travel experiences, then Black Tomato may be the website for you. From hiring a drone pilot to film your trip to a secluded private island to organizing a glamping trip in the Sahara Desert, Black Tomato claims they can do it all. Black Tomato aims to create one-of-a-kind experiences for their clients, with the goal of helping them to discover things about their holiday destination that they wouldn't otherwise have learned. The company was set up in 2005 by three seasoned travelers from Australia, and since then has been described by Condé Nast as one of the coolest things in the world. Don't even try to live without them. Of course, for most of us, we may have to. Their drone experience, as one example, costs around 4,000 pounds per person, and has been called a holiday with a James Bond cameraman. Their mountain biking experience uses helicopters to get to the top of isolated peaks in New Zealand, which also sounds fun but it's not cheap either, at nearly $8,000 for seven nights. The Steeple Times Described as a mix between the Huffington Post and Private Eye, The Steeple Times is a news website which covers travel, food, the arts, and current affairs. The website itself boasts readers from around the globe who are affluent, engaged, and international. Although fairly unheard of in the public eye, the website is apparently incredibly popular with the super rich, if one commenter on Quora is to be trusted. Allegedly, when several of her boss's photographs of millionaires and celebrities turned up on the Steeple Times, it was discovered that in every case, they had been given the photos for free by the subjects. These subjects included Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, and Mark Zuckerberg. Clearly, the news site has some friends in high places. Or this was one great way to pull in new readers as the ultra-rich are rather secretive when it comes to revealing their sources of information. So which of these websites would you love to have access to? Have you heard of any other websites that are popular with the ultra-rich? Let me know in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching.